Ooh, there's a rinconata. Let me see how much that is. Let me take that out. All right, here we go. Hi. There's Santa. <laughs> We haven't been here in like since summertime. Ooh, look at that. I think we've seen that before. It's missing the spoons. Oh, I like those green salt and pepper shakers back there. Some pottery. Oh, it's a ceramic. <laughs> look at these Asian people. Ooh, look at the cat. Oh, I like that. They're um, trivets. Ah, uh, they're supposed to be um, a string in between them. I might get a price on that. That's awesome. Michael. Um, they're supposed to be a string. It's supposed to be hanging. Oh, that's cool. I might get a price on it. Oh, there's a name on it. What does that say? Ragic, I think that's as Ragic. <laughs> Ragic Stoneware USA. Okay, so we're gonna get a price on that, and I could just race string it. Ooh, that's different. <sighs> Look at that. Mm. And it's not signed. All right, let's go back here and see. I guess there is some new stuff. 65. I love that blue. There's the lazy cat again. <laughs> um, let's check out and see what is in the case that Michael's looking at. Ooh. Oh, I'm scared. I know, right? Whenever I open these cabinets, I always think it's gonna collapse. Oh, it is signed. 1999. Is there a price on it? I don't think he does puts prices on things in here. Oh, that's right. We always bring it up and he just tells us. I mean, there's a price on that. Mm. Ooh, there's a Rinconata. Mm. Let me see how much that is. Let me take that out. I'm um, 16. That's about right for the Rinconadas. Oh, that's nice. 1989. This one, I think, is... I don't know if I like the brush strokes on it. Yeah, that one's okay. Be a doll. Be a doll and hold this face. <laughs> Give me the... <laughs> Here's a pottery dish. Let me see if that is Raku. I think it is, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Raku. Not watertight, nor food safe. And it's signed. That's pretty. It has a iridescent on that side. Right, we'll get a price on that. I can't pass up Raku. All right, we'll make our pile here. We're gonna get a price on the um, the Rinconata. That's a bell made in China. Look at this. I kind of want to pick that up and see who made it. Um, made in Japan. Put that back. We have this lady, it's, what does that say? Oh, it's Brush USA, it's McCoy. Ooh, never seen that, it's a little planter. All right, let me, I'm gonna get a price on that. Make sure I don't forget it here. The marigold basket. What does that say? Royal Copley. That's pretty with the green. We have this vase down here. 
I think that's made by the Kanawaha. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not positive though, so I can't say that. It just says made in Italy. I do like that though. It's a cornucopia. That's Hall. H-U-L-L. Not H-A-L-L. <laughs> Look at the Polish pottery. $50. There we go. 50 Hmm. I'm not sure if he could go too much lower on that. We have all of this ceramic. Look at that Italian vase. I think it's Italian. $20. I like the blue on that. We have this antique bristle glass. Oh, look at the bird on it. $24. I mean, with a bird on it, you could probably get some money on that. Take a look at that. That's funky. Oh, it is numbered on the bottom. $8. They're charging Aladdin vase. Hmm. Oh, here's all the uranium glass. I think that is anchor hocking. There's a way to tell the the direction the swirls go. I can never remember. Yes. I wonder if I should get a price on those. If any have the dessert cups. I already know it glows. Ooh, look at that. Oh, there's some over here too. All the way back. I'm gonna get a price on that. Look at that. Ten. There's a poodle on there. Kinda like that. How much do they want for it? Hmm, looks like they clear this out. Ooh, coffee. <laughs> I was coming to look at the mugs. Mr. Coffee mugs? Hmm. It's kind of neat. A little coffee bar. Did he find anything? Can't hear me. <laughs> Oh, look at these reverse painted um lamps. Hmm. I do like those. I'm just not sure how much more how much we could get for them. I think I would spend about ten dollars. Here's a pottery um squat vase. Copeland, I think, 1979. That is $20. I'm going to look that up. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's um, made in Germany. Is it um, Western Germany? Or can you read it? I know it's kind of dark in here. No, it just says Germany. I like the glaze on it. Yeah, that's nice. The yellow with the blue and then the black on the bottom. I like... Um, that's a Copeland pottery. You could probably get like 40, like $40 for that. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to leave this vase. There are no sold comps on, um, Copeland pottery, and there's a lot listed. So I gotta leave that. Look at the Volkswagen, um, caps. I used to have a beetle bug. A newer one. Um, that creamer. It looks like a chicken. It's Japan. Ooh, I see some Tanala birds. There's two of them. 
Look at that one. Vintage Tanala, Mexico. I get a price on that. Oh, look at these dishes. Well, trinket dishes. That looks like Tanala. Ooh, I like those. I'm gonna get them. I like this one. The head looks different. <laughs> um, but then there's these salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's Viking. Which is weird because I never knew Viking made um, pottery. I think I'll get those. All right, let me bring it to my pile. There, our pile keeps growing. <laughs> Just hope we could get a good price on everything. Let me see how much this vase is. What does that say? Four? Um, 22. I like this milk glass. Um, that's Westmoreland. The, um, grape pattern. Then I see the Franciscan Desert Rose. Um, salt and pepper shakers. Hmm. I'm not sure if I get too much more for those. There's a big pile of dolls. <laughs> oh, look at the, um... The green dividers. Those are pretty awesome. Kind of like that. And that um, fireplace. I wonder what this place used to be. I like the, um, the ceiling. It goes all the way around the, all the molding. I don't know. It's probably a factory. Did you see anything? What about that, um, that radio? Um, that's newer. That is? Oh. <laughs> um, what about that radio? No, I like it. I wonder if that's, um, it's probably Bakelite. And some of them can sell for good money. So this radio is Zenith. Um, it sells for about that price, which I'm surprised from 1940s. You can tell by the cord, too. It's a mid century um, Hager vase. Hmm. Almost has that avocado green, but not quite. I like this pottery. Oh, it's wood. <laughs> and there's a stangle. Look at this parrot. I was thinking um, maybe it was um, Sirocco. It's not. Let me see what's back here. It's a coconut man. <laughs> or is that a monkey? I'll look at the seal. Look how cute it looks. Oh, that's the made in Sweden seal for 30 on eBay. I'm not sure I do, if I can remember. I think some of them sell for more and some not. Like, I don't know about the seal. And then there was this vase. Oh, can you hold that? That's heavy. I like the um, swirl pattern, and then it's marked right here, USA 18. So I think I'm gonna get a price on that. It is heavy though. <laughs> but oh, that might be a booth so item. <laughs> Just toss it around. <laughs> Catch. I kinda want all of it. <laughs> what about that green vase? Up here, Michael. Almost looks like it would be Howie. Oh. Okay. I never heard of Howie. Almost looks like it would have been um what is that called? Blue Mountain. That's what I thought. <laughs> I know, right? Look how awesome that is. That's just a um hobbyist um school project. 
15, but... That's a Tanala donkey? What? Oh, it's repaired. I totally would have gotten that. And then look at these um 1970s glasses. Made in Japan. Those are awesome. And then, of course, I see a cat. Ooh, look at that. Oh, let me get a grip on it. <laughs> Eyes look really small. Hmm. I'm put that back. It's not as exciting as I thought. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. We have this pitcher. What does that say? Vintage Native American jug. I don't see Native American in that. We have this um, decanter. I think that's the English hobnail. What is that a Yadro? I don't want to knock anything over. Careful, Jeremy. Okay. Some made in Spain. I think that's an off brand of Yadro. N A D. There's a name for it, I forget. It's been a while. Ooh, look at that shade. Hand painted shade. Hmm. I don't see any damage. I'm gonna get that. Let me put it down here. That's pretty. We have um Franciscan. Alright. Not seeing anything else. USA. Oh, that's marked USA. Ooh. Okay. I think I'll get a price on that. Italy. Oh, that's nice too. Mid century. Give us a 702. It's an Asian man. A little vase. I wonder who made that. Oh, Shawnee Pottery. Get that. Um, I want to see if that blue pitcher is Blanco. It looks like good quality. Yeah, it does. There's a it has a pantal. Hmm. I don't think it is Blanco. The usually the rim is more thick. Well, this seems kind of thick, thicker than that. I think so. I could be wrong though. <laughs> Has the stuff that's like a Murano glass, silver. Oh, it's the Venture Teen in it? Venture Teen. Ew. But it's like a white. Thing. Yeah. White Venture Teen. Um, that red vase. That looks like um Czech glass. Oh, I really like not. that. Ooh. Um, remember we have one at home, it's... Let me see that. I'm going to get that. Oh, we have a kitchen. Actually, no, I'm not going to get it. It feels cheap. <laughs> hmm. Do you think it is? Yeah, just by the way it looks. Well, let's get a... See the way that is? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. Let's get it and see what the price is. Ooh, that's nice. And then they have the... Oh, that's Coors Light. I was going to say Coca-Cola. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> so I'm going to show everybody a little haul of what me and Michael won at a auction. I'm so glad we stopped. We went on Wednesday... Um, we got all of these vases. I'm going to start with this one. This is Northwood. You can see that N with a, um, a line under it. This is the blue um, diamond pattern. 
And this one is a little different. It's almost squished right here. Right in the... Right there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. And we paid only about 45 45 or 50 for all of these vases. Um, this one, I fell in love with this. It, I'm surprised it's not signed either. Um, but look at the iridescent and then all of this work. Now, this is repaired right on the top. You can see it right there. Let me show it a little better. It's kind of hard to see. There's the underneath. Um, but we got this and a lot. I don't know, we got four, five vases and a lot, then a couple of them separately. But I'm still going to list this. I I have to list it. <laughs> it's too beautiful not to. I'm sure somebody will enjoy that. Um, this one is Northwood, a uh, white opalescent. Um, the pattern is tree trunk. And most of them are cloudy on the inside, but the opalescent, uh, you can't really tell. I actually like, out of all of them, I like the white better. Oh, let me move that over. Okay. This one, I believe, is, from my memory, Fenton um, pulled feather. I believe it's a feather pattern. Um, but this one is different. Compared to the blue, let me show you. There's a blue, and this one is more of like a, almost like a turquoise or a teal. I think teal is a little bit darker. But I'm glad I got that one because it is different from the other blues. You can see a little bit of cloudiness. This face, oh, let me put that over. I don't want to knock any of these over. This carnival glass it's uh amethyst i believe that's made by westmoreland i'm not totally positive i didn't do too much research there are a few scratches small scratches but can't really tell if it doesn't sell for much i'll keep it for myself and then back there is a carnival northwood tree trunk pattern this one isn't marked is it marked? I can't really tell. But that's a cobalt blue carnival glass. I love this one. Oh, this one back here. Oh, I'm tempted to keep this one. This one is, I believe, Fenton. Oh, it's a weird name. Boggy Bayou? Boggy Bayou or Buggy can't remember. I, I'm thinking of putting um, psychedelic <laughs> in the description. Now this one is... See that right there? It's almost like the bubble popped when they were making the glass. It's not on the inside or on the outside. It's like in between the glass. If that makes sense. It's like inside the glass. <laughs> but there's the bottom. I love that vase so much. And that one is the Northwood Diamond. And then these um, obviously are Fenton with the stickers. It's marked Fenton, and then there's a number nine. Whenever there's a number on her, that's the year, the decade. So that was 1990s. Um, at first I thought these were cherries, but um, I went on the Fenton group on Facebook and everybody was saying it was apple tree. That's the pattern. So we got a set of eight. I'm just showing you four, four of them right now. Set of eight is a pink carnival glass. We have them listed four of them for 120 because nobody else has these listed on eBay. They're kind of hard to find. We paid $22 for eight glasses, eight cups, which I think is an awesome price. Only like one other person was bidding against us. Michael was determined to get them. And I got, I was bidding on this. This is Northwood. Um, from a distance when it was on the table at the auction house, I thought it was Fastoria Heirloom, but it's not. You can always tell it's 
um, north side because of the beaded work right there. That has to be cleaned under there. Just notice that. But I paid $7 for that, and I believe it sells for about 30 I can't remember how much I have it listed for. A little bit of surface scratches, but that's okay. I love that. Blue opalescent. All right, and then I'm going to show you other items are not glass. I got it right on my lap. There we go. You have these brushes. They're um, silver plated and they're marked. What is that mark? Victor Silver Company. And then there's a number under there. May. I'm just noticing the number. May 4th. 1907. Or 1887. I think 1907. But we got the brushes. Look, it has a beautiful flower. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. Almost like an Art Nouveau. It's monogrammed. We have a mirror. <laughs> I believe it's from the same company. And this one, the mirror is broken out. And then we bid on all of these stuffed animals. Now, the auctioneer said they were stiff. I don't see any stife in here. We paid $17. It was a bit much, but Michael researched one of these bears. And they sell for a lot more. So we can at least get our money back. Oh, look at the mouse. Looks like he got caught in some hair. <laughs> Another mouse. Oh, look at that one. It's cute. That'd be good for um, Easter. Even though it's not a bunny. There's a bunny. Whoa. You look a little rough. You got the eyeballs, the pink eyes. What else is there? There's one that Michael found in here. I can't... Maybe he put it aside. Oh, well. All right, that is it for tonight. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. We could get probably about... 30 between 30 to 50 dollars for each vase so if anybody's interested take a look at our ebay shop i might do one of these on our monthly live sale with yvonne thrifty rich not sure which one yet the blue or the that one <laughs> i'm not sure so i'm gonna finish listing these items don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe and i'll see everybody next time bye